Welcome back to Visual Basic for Beginner series. In this tutorial, I will show you how to develop a simple console application and Windows application using Visual Basic. I hope you have reviewed my first tutorial which gives you a general introduction to .NET and Visual Basic and also talks about how to download the free version of Visual Basic 2010 Express and how to install it. So I assume that you have already successfully installed Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. Go ahead and start that application uh, and the first page of that application when you start it would look something like this. When you see the new project item click on that to start a new project so select that item click on this item the next page will show you the type of application that you can develop the list will most likely contain windows forms applications wpf application console application class library etc what we want to do is to select the console application first and the next page will give you the core template. It will most likely say module, module 1, submain, etc. What you want to do is to add these two lines of code console.writeline and uh, in parenthesis hello world in double quotes. The next line would say console.readline. So all you're going to do is to type these two lines. And the final version of your code should look something like that. After you are done with it, click on the start button. What this does is compiles the application, compiles the code that you have written and it will actually run your application assuming that you had no errors in it. So click on the start button. If everything was okay, it will run your application and output hello world in a console window. It will open up the console window since we are writing a console application and it is waiting for you to press the enter key. So when you are done looking at this page, press the enter key. These are the two lines of code that I wrote uh, in case if you were not able to see those two lines on the previous window that I showed you. Console.writeline in parenthesis hello world and the hello world should be in double quotes. Uh, so this was the output of the program. So when you ran the program, it printed hello world. That's all this program will do. And then we also have console.readline. So this is the statement that is that will uh, wait for you to press the enter key or something. If you didn't have the console.readline, immediately after printing hello world, it will close that window so you will not be able to see what really happened. So we use the read line statement to pause the program. This is, the, this is what the whole program looked like. Uh, next close that application go back and restart Visual Basic and this time we are going to develop a Windows application. As before click on the new project and this time select the Windows Forms application. This is what the next window would look like. So when you start a Windows Forms application or in short Windows application, a form or a window is already given to you and you can start designing your application around it. On the left hand side you see these common controls these are the controls or the objects that you can use for developing or building your form or your Windows application. You have for example button, checkbox, combo box, label, uh, calendar, etc. A whole bunch of controls using which you can build your application. While you are on that window select the button bring the mouse pointer on the form and draw the button and the button would 
most likely say button one on top of that so highlight the button click on it once don't double click on it click on the button once and then go to the properties window and find the text property and in the text property type in say hello then then double click now double click on that button when you double click on the button it will actually give you the click event procedure for that button and it may say something like private sub button one underscore click etc what you want to do is to type in this one statement message box hello world that's what you need to type in and uh, don't change anything else now come back here uh, and uh, when you see the form go back and click on the start button again when you click on the start button this time it will actually bring up the form or the window and now your application is actually running so when you click on say hello it will bring up a window a separate window or a message box and it will have the text hello world that you put in in your message box and now you can click on the OK button to close that application so this was a Windows application that you developed so what is next uh, I have several more tutorials coming up in this series the next next the next tutorial will discuss variables data types and then we will go on to the programming constructs like the if statement the select statement the for loop and uh, many more topics please uh, visit my website uh, I have tutorials on many different uh, topics many different programming languages like C sharp uh, PHP etc thank you for listening